Waves Platform is a decentralized platform with loads of real-world solutions running on blockchain. Wavesnode.net is providing a professional node on the Waves platform, hosted in our own data center. If you are holding Waves tokens, you can lend them with the LPOS system to our big node. The leased tokens are always in your account and under your control. It is like leasing staking power. By leasing on our powerful, stable and trustful node, you are generating transfer fees and will be rewarded with Waves. The bigger our node's balance, the higher your rewards. Wavesnode.net can help you achieve increasing your stack and making the Waves platform stronger in just a few easy steps. So please, open your Waves Lite client and lease your tokens at wavesnode.net. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at wavesnode.net. For media, blockchain news, crypto crews and interviews, keeping you tuned in to the ecosystem. Hello and welcome to Core Radio. This is Lutz, and we are here today with Sasha. Hello, Sasha. Hi, 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 man. I'm here. I'm, I'm happy to be with you again. <laughs> let, let, let me just announce in Slack that we're live. Yeah. All right, and today uh, I want to talk to you about full nodes. Yeah. Uh, do, do you have push to talk on by any chance? Maybe you could turn that on. I hear airplanes. Ah, uh, is it okay like that? Because it was it was fine. I yeah. Think. I yeah, it's didn't fine. Push it's any fine. buttons. So I, just, okay. I hear you typing. <laughs> was, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just sorry. Just yeah. <laughs> okay, I won't type again. I, 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 no hacking. Okay, no hacking while okay. we're on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So, so we're gonna talk about full node. So today, I, I congratulations on on the release of the full nodes. Thank you. Uh, a lot of people were waiting for that. And uh, so, me personally, I, I set it up myself last night too. Great. So, so what's the what's the purpose of the full nodes now that they're out? Uh, they have to support the network, and you can eventually make some money. Now it's not so much, but okay, it's we have to start with something. Eventually, you'll be able to make a substantial amount of money, I think, by helping us support the network. So you'll have. Uh, a part of all the transaction fees and we have to work on the amount of the transaction fees we're going to have lots of transactions and so we're going to have lots of transaction fees so and now if you want to help us support the network to secure it against attacks install a full node and you can you can forge you can mine and you can earn some waves so I, I it is great that you've installed a full node and are you mining right now are you forging i'm i'm not sure how do i know i i have a black screen it looks like the matrix <laughs> yeah you can you can check it in the for example the easiest way probably is to check it in our waves explorer and if you can see that your node mined the block probably you're in <laughs> So right. and did you did you did you install it like properly? Did you did you send some waves over to that account that yeah, that that is uh, is at the server or how does it work on your end? I mean, you have to install it and you have to send some funds there so it can use the funds use the stake to mine. Hello. Oh, you can hear me, right? Can you, can, can you hear me, guys? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, okay, okay, it's fine. Yeah, so I yeah. just I, I just asked how it, how you installed it. So uh, okay. so I, I, I followed. Would, yeah, tell me. Hmm? So I followed those instructions. There's some really really good instructions mm -hmm. Canoptics made, mm -hmm. and uh, I followed it. And what I mm -hmm. also imported my wallet. 
Yeah, okay. So it should it should should mine. So you use your stake to mine. So probably uh okay, you can check it. I think you you've mined a couple blocks by now. <laughs> Oh. Yep, yes I can. Okay, so it's just some dis disconnect or something like that. Okay. Yeah, so I, oh, I was asking uh how do I know if I'm mining full nodes? I, I'm mining any blocks. I mean, I'm on Waves Explorer right now. Yeah, you can you can search for your account. Probably this is the easiest option. You can just uh, type your address, in the search box, and uh, your your all your transactions are gonna come up there. So you can check if you mine something, and you'll see all your transactions there. Probably this is the easiest way to, to check it. So you okay. just type your address there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I don't see anything new at the moment. I, I had it up last night, so it took me a few hours to figure it out. I'm a little slow. Ah, okay, I can help you. <laughs> show. <laughs> but so. you, you, know, you know what my main concern is and what many people's concern is, putting up the full mm -hmm. known, is uh, security. I noticed because I ask a lot of people the same question, you know, let's let's put up a full node and they say, oh, I have too many waves, you know, I don't want to risk, you know, my wave. Yeah, 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 that's true. Absolutely. That's why that's that's the reason why we are creating the leasing transaction. So you won't be risking your funds if you can lease it to another node. So next step is to have this transaction where you can just lease your funds to a professional miner so he can mine and share the profits with you so for now probably it wouldn't be too wise to risk too many waves yeah uh, so you can just probably uh, have some like 10,000 or 20,000 waves at your node and you can keep the rest in the cold wallet but we'll have this leasing transaction soon so you'll be able just to transfer funds to a professional miner and he, he'll mine and just share the profits with you so and it's gonna be within like reasonable time frames so we're working on this and it's gonna be soon all right uh that sounds that sounds promising mm -hmm. i i also noticed that there is a ten thousand when i installed it it was asking me for ten thousand uh waves yeah 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 this is a minimum you should have in order to mine at this stage so in future we'll we'll make it like less i don't know how, how much exactly but it's going to be less than that for now for security reasons this is probably the best option because there can be some attacks if you allow to mine with very small amounts so at this stage probably it's okay to mine with ten thousand. the most important thing is that our network is stable and it's not broken so if not everybody can participate, it's not it's not so dreadful. So, in in the near future, we'll have a system where everybody can mine. So even with a smaller amount. Nice. Is there is there going to be a cap for uh, full nodes? Mm, no, probably not. So you can mine with all you have. You can like fire from all your guns. So if you have like five million, you can mine with five million. If right. you're like, if you're feeling adventurous, <laughs> right? Right. I noticed. I, I noticed also. You know, those other technologies that have done this before, uh, they put a cap on it. And when they put a cap on it, people just you know put multiple computers. You know, say if the cap. Sure. Is, yeah. I mean that sure. that makes no sense. Why? Why have yeah, was... you know ten thousand mm -hmm. cap and then. Uh, you know, the person is just going to set up multiple computers and do 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, yeah. There are some attacks in POS when you can just, you know, uh, split your balance between many addresses. And you have always to take that into account. So you can't just say that, okay, we have this cap because a person can just separate its balance, his balance 
between many addresses and can still attack the network. So it's always an option. So uh, some kind of caps, they don't make any sense. Okay, uh, so so the whole point of releasing the full nodes last week and was to decentralize the network, right? So now we're now yes. we're decentralized. Absolutely, yes. You can install your node, you can mine, you can forge, you can do whatever you want. So it's it's decentralized now, and everybody can participate. So it's not permissioned blockchain the way it was a couple of weeks ago. It's completely open. Everybody can participate. Everybody can help us. So we are a proper blockchain, proper cryptocurrency right now. All right. And uh, so, so now that it's decentralized, that means that there is no one entity that could take down the network anymore. Uh, no, no, we can't do that. Okay, we can have some attacks. We didn't have any yet. Probably there will be something, but we are ready to... to to, to, to find them. So uh, we can't take the network down and we are ready to uh, face all the issues that some attackers can, can bring us. So I think at this stage, the network is working very stable. The release was very smooth, actually. I wasn't even surprised. It was absolutely smooth. So we haven't had any problems yet. I'm knocking on wood right now. And we are doing fine. What's the what's the best thing people could do to help? Is it to set up a full node? Yeah, guys, try to do that. It's very simple. Uh, the instructions are pretty clear, and you can help us, and you can just get into the swing of things, and eventually you'll be making substantial amount of money. So, because we want to have a system where you can, you know, uh, have a network that supports millions of dollars of transactions per day and all the fees uh, are going to miners so it's going to be a substantial amount like i don't know 10k per day or 20k per day in fees that is going to be shared between all the miners so this, this is the plan we have and if you help us at this stage probably you'll understand our system better and you'll be one of the miners who's going to be profiting from our uh, network so if you can help us now uh, the network will help you later to make some some money with your node all right uh, hey guys listen uh, you know all that aside look at the price right now i mean you know i see a lot of people complaining but i see an opportunity you know, I you know I don't have much, but I I just bought another two thousand waves myself. You know, cool. And it's it's I mean you know people complain when it's it's you know it goes up and they go like oh I missed it I missed it right and then they complain when it goes down. So you know you can't make everybody happy. Yeah. You know, but but if you're smart, you're gonna get in right now. It's there's an opportunity to get in right now. I mean, so if you missed yeah, the boat, yeah, because, you didn't miss it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, we, we have we just released the basic, the most basic version of our network. So nothing happened yet. Yeah, so it's all just starting. So probably if you're interested uh, in waves, this is a very good moment to start participating. So, so what, what's next on the schedule on the roadmap for us? Yeah, so we released uh, the light client with tokens, uh, with tokens issue transfer. Um, on the testnet today and we'll test it for a couple of days or like four days so probably on Tuesday or, or on Wednesday we're going to have it on mainnet so it's pretty important because you'll be able to issue custom tokens you can issue your token your asset on our mainnet so you can start a crowdfunding campaign you can like use it for something else so we'll be able to provide the basic functionality that we promised to our investors a while ago. So you'll be able to issue your tokens and use these tokens in your projects, whatever they are. So it can be a crowdfunding campaign, it can be some like some kind of fiat gateway or something else. So it's on the testnet now, you can check it out. There can be some bugs, so that's why it's on the testnet first. And 
when we weed all the bugs out, we can release it on the mainnet. So it shouldn't take us long. Uh, it's already on the testnet. So if you help us test it, we're going to have it on our mainnet sooner. So please help us. All right, guys, jump in there, jump in the test, and test it out. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, actually, there is a web wallet. You don't even have to install the plugin. You can just play around with our like uh, web wallet. Uh, this is the link. It's testnet.waveswallet.io. So you just go there, you create an account, you get some test net waves from from the faucet and you can you're good to go you can help us you can issue your asset you can issue your like i don't know like usd or some kind of other asset and transfer it to another user and you can see how it works so this is the basic functionality we're gonna have next week as it's gonna be pretty useful it won't be much but okay it's pretty useful you can issue tokens you can use them so it's a lot it's, it's, it's quite a lot because now there is no system where you can issue custom tokens easily. There is counterparty, there is bit shares, there is Ethereum, but it's not so obvious how one can issue his or her token easily. So it's quite complicated. Of right. course, Ethereum is the most, the most popular system, but it's pretty complicated because you have to write some code there and you can just install a client, push a button, and have your token ready. There's NXT, pretty good, pretty good system, but it's somehow you know undervalued, and people, not many people know about it. So there, there are some issues. Interface is not so clear, and and we want to make this thing as simple as possible. So it's very useful, I think, to have a blockchain system where anybody can just install a client in two clicks and issue their custom tokens in another in in other like two clicks so we're gonna have it next week guys and i think it's pretty 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 good and pretty important for waves because this is a basic functionality that was promised and we're gonna build on top of that lots of interesting things and simpli simplicity is the key guys i mean that's a, that's the key to mainstream that's the uh, it's the only way that's that's utility right there you know, I have a basic, I have a basic uh, equation for for value, and it's uh, utility plus warranty. You know, you have to be able to use it. It has to be easy to use, and then warranty is you know how strong it is and how long it's going to be around, and does it have a support structure, right? And it, with those two together, you have a, a value. You have value. It adds value. So, so I have somebody here. He says uh, the new GUI asset creation looks so well done. Didn't really expect it to work that that well or that or be that easy. And that's Bitcoin Carpenter. I mean, it, it, people <laughs> people like it, so people are trying it, and people like it. Yeah, it's very easy because nothing like that existed before, guys. It's very simple. People tend to make overcomplicated things, and we are focused on simplicity. So it has to be simple in order to become mainstream. Otherwise, it just won't happen, you know, because you can't have like general, like mainstream adoption without simplicity and ease of use. You can't have s smart contracts uh, for asset creation. It's overly complicated. You have to have a simpler approach that we are actually pursuing. So I think that we have a very high chance of being successful very soon because this is the thing that is needed for mass adoption of the technology. Simplicity and clarity and people want to have more or less the same interfaces they had with online banking, with brokerage accounts. So and that's what we are trying to do to make people feel like they use like normal system they're accustomed to so i think it's very important and it should work so yeah in the test it's gonna work guys yeah. in the mm -hmm. test that right now people are very excited i know not everybody not all of you out there are trying it yet uh but what's what's going on with gateways when uh I, or when do you see us having gateways 
Yeah, fiat gateways are on the way. So actually, we are trying to. We are, we are not trying. We are actually implementing already some API from a payment system uh, uh, that has all the proper licenses for uh, being a gateway. So once we have assets, we can start implementing gateways, and we will have several ones. We'll have several gateways. The first one is probably going to be Euro gateway. Then we'll have a, a USD gateway and uh, Yuan gateways are on the way too. We have to uh, probably find some 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 partner there because we have some companies we are talking to, but it's nothing not nothing is settled yet. So, but for USD and for Euro we have partners and we are working already on the implementation so and we'll have a couple services that are going to be our gateways uh, so once we have the assets we can start on the gateways and guys i want to tell you one thing full node launch was really hard yeah it took us longer than we expected but once we have the full nodes we're gonna move much faster because the network is, is stable uh, it looks like we don't have any major problems here, and we. Oh, come back to us, Sasha. We lost you, Sasha. Come back. It looks like we, we lost Sasha for a second, fellas. Yeah, it looks like he just gonna he'll be he'll be back. So yeah, it's looking good, guys. I mean, uh, so I installed this full node last night, right? And uh, I ran into a few a few speed bumps. I want to tell you about just in case you decide to do it yourself. Uh, apparently, if you're using Windows, which I set up a laptop just for this purpose, and I put I installed Windows on it. Uh, don't forget to put make it forward slashes. So when you put a, di a home, uh, you set up that config file, which is very fragile. So what I recommend is when you set it up, change one thing, save it, and try it. And if it if it works, you're golden. Uh, then I ran into the when I when I changed the directories, you know, to to the C directory for the waves location, the wallet location. And uh, the other one, there's two places where you got to change it. Uh, you, don't forget to change those backslashes. Those backslashes. Uh, uh, welcome sorry, back. Yes, I just, yeah, something with my connection. Yeah, something with the Wi-Fi. I don't know what. That's all right. Yeah, so, yeah, I was just, yeah. I was just telling people about some trouble yeah. I was having with the full nodes. Uh, just mm -hmm. setting it up so that just in case they don't run into the same thing. So, so when you set up the full node on Windows. Uh, don't forget to make it a forward slash. Uh, Windows likes the backslashes, so if you do C colon backslash, make it a forward slash. And if it's, you know, users, make make it uh, users forward slash desktop forward slash. Make sure those slashes are forward. And that mm -hmm. fixed it for me. Uh, mm -hmm. cool. and, th and then it was up and running. Uh, and then and then don't forget to uh, set the RPC. Uh, I forgot what it's called, RPC control, to true. So there's one, I, I, per, I believe that provides extra security, right? Yes, and, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and then also, I had a great, uh, a great uh, a person uh, suggest that you put the config file on a USB stick. So mm -hmm. once it's running and loaded, you could pull it out. And uh, you know nobody could access it anymore. You know, just in case you're compromised. And then you know, if you ever need to, you know, rerun uh, the no a full node again, you just plug the USB back in, and boom, you use it again. And then when you're done, you pull it out. So nobody, if if your system's compromised, you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, JCM, yeah, yeah. JCM actually told me about that. Great suggestion. Yeah, follow it. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we need. To, so, what other security? Uh, what other security? You know, can people implement to make their full node more safe, Sasha? Uh, 
actually dedicated server or like you don't probably guys i don't okay uh, probably you you'd better have a dedicated server for it but okay you can also run it on vps uh, the most important thing probably for now i wouldn't recommend you to just you know just for safety not to have too much money there so 100,000 waves is gonna be fine i think yeah don't try to mine with all you got so if you mine with 1 million it's cool but you know probably at this stage you'd better not do that so if you have like 100,000 mine with 10,000 so 10,000 20,000 will be fun for us because uh you know, I can see that uh, there are not so many nodes now, and if more people could mine with something like around 10,000 waves, it's going to be very good. We'll have it... more nodes, and it's uh, the, our network would be more decentralized, and we could test our uh, uh, algorithm better, the post algorithm, because uh, the, the, the more nodes we have, the better, actually. So, and if one node is mining with like 1 million waves and probably it will like, it's going to have majority of the blocks, but it's not going to be good for the network. So the more nodes are mining, the better. So guys, just use 10,000 waves from your stash and help us maintain the network. Is it, if somebody was, you know, silly enough to uh put more than that <laughs> that what is there any benefit to uh to doing uh, to doing more at the moment than uh, 10, no no yeah you can you know you'll have more blocks probably yeah but at this stage uh there are not so many transactions so the monetary profit won't be that different so <laughs> i see you can just go ahead and try to mine with ten thousand ways and get into the swing of things and soon we will have more transactions we will have decentralized exchange we will have many other things like leasing also dividend plugin where you can send dividends to your uh, ICO participants or you can distribute tokens to all the participants of your ICO at the same time so we'll have more transactions and you'll be You'll be you'll have a running node and you'll be able to profit from more transactions that we're going to have so at this stage i don't recommend to mine with more than two to ten or twenty thousand waves it's pretty enough and the more my the, the more mining nodes we have the better so guys don't be lazy please participate and you're going to be rewarded for, you rewarded for this later. <laughs> yeah, we, we could be all part of the success of Waves. Yeah, yeah, sure. It, so so uh, you mentioned the, the DEX, the decentralized exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. With how the code. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please ask. Yeah. Uh, so, so implementing multi-gateway on Waves uh, to mm -hmm. trade to trade the cryptos with, with a decentralized exchange, how is that going to work? How, how are you going to implement it? Uh, so we have the code already, uh, it's not tested yet, we're going to be testing it starting from the next week uh, because we've been working on the code since like a couple months. Uh, the structure of the exchange is pretty clear, it's centralized matching, so you have a matching server that just matches the orders and the settlement is done on the blockchain. So. We can match, match the orders, but the actual transfer of funds is taking place only on the blockchain. So the matcher, the centralized server, has no control over the funds. It just matches orders, matches buyers and sellers, matches bids and asks. But the actual transfer is being carried out on blockchain. So it's a safe approach. It has to be tested. There can be some some attacks, but I think it's very valid and eventually it can be embraced also by like normal exchanges. Yeah, because also big stock exchanges are working on blockchain technology and they're trying to digitize like to uh, make like uh, assets out of like 
normal shares, yeah, normal normal stocks, so they can eventually use more or less the same technology for settlement for for settlement of trades at the end of the day. So I think it can be pretty useful even beyond crypto. So and I've been talking to several groups of people who have been working with exchanges like big exchanges like normal exchanges, and they are pretty impressed and they. they say that it's a very interesting approach and they're quite interested so uh, if we have it we can realize uh, more or less secure exchange where you can trade anything also you can trade against bitcoin uh, there has to be some kind of bitcoin asset like it was in nxt if you remember it's like gateway asset uh, when you can just deposit bitcoin and have a corresponding asset in and it can be traded against other cryptos on the blockchain so uh, we'll be able to have this decentralized exchange uh, but the order matching will be quite fast so you'll have like a normal exchange with fast trades but it's going to be secure and i think it's a very interesting thing and if we realize it it can help uh, waves a lot it can draw a lot of attention to our network because nobody has it yet so we're going to be the first to implement this oh man you were going to say goodbye to centralized exchanges fellas hopefully yeah because probably they have to evolve in a way yeah because there are always issues and you know it's they're kind of you know a little bit obsolete because you have crypto which is essentially decentralized and at the same time you have absolutely this absolutely centralized exchanges and only at those exchanges you can trade these magic internet money which is decentralized yeah it's there is some kind of contradiction here so exchange infrastructure has to evolve and has to move uh, towards decentralization and this is a matter of time it won't it, it there, there can be no other direction of development here because exchanges have to be decentralized and we are working hard on that i think we're going to be making the first important step in that direction yeah. so there is of course bitsquare for example and stuff like that but you have always remember that uh, you have to remember that people want to speculate and you need some kind of high frequency trading so you can just have a secure exchange uh when you know you have to wait like a couple minutes before your order settles so you it has to be fast yeah in order to have volume if you want to have volume material of change it has to be fast it has to support trading bots it has to support high frequency trading otherwise it just won't won't be popular so we want to do exactly this we want to have more or less high frequency trading not like milliseconds but pretty fast so it's like at centralized exchange like a Poloniex or Bitrex more or less the same speed but the exchange has no control over your funds and I think it's going to be very important yeah so so uh, that's one of Satoshi Nakamoto's uh, you know I, I just read a, a book on Satoshi Nakamoto and his dream was that everything is peer to peer you know, and this yeah, falls absolutely. this falls in line. You know, he expected mm -hmm. it to grow like this. This mm -hmm. is the way he wanted it to grow. Uh peer to peer everything. Uh nothing centralized. And yeah, yeah. I don't think that everything has to be decentralized. You, centralization works better for something, yes, for example, for order matching, because blockchain have innate latency, so it, they can be fast at this stage, but you can somehow combine the benefits of centralization with the benefits of decentralization so that's the direction we are heading into so if we can combine fast order matching with like slow but secure order processing is going to be a great step forward yep so I, I think he just didn't want a central point of failure that's what he's, he was he was looking for so that yeah. no no one entity could take it down uh, Absolutely, er yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Earlier, earlier today, I had Darkris on, and mm -hmm. Darkris said that he he'll be using uh, waves as one of his uh, uh, solutions for for his quicker blockchains. You know that mm -hmm. waves could t 
take on a higher load and it's a lot faster and uh yeah you know so you you know that's it i was very happy to hear that darkness you know is recognizing waves also yeah yeah we are talking to very many startups there is a huge interest here from all walks of life so to say we have like some movie companies who want to crowdfund on waves to to make movies and some like brick and mortar businesses who want to issue some kind of uh vouchers yes like you know because i'm considering this approach like group on approach where there's like group on service it's, it's not so popular now where you can issue a coupon for your product and we can, you can issue uh, this kind of coupon on blockchain so you just you just give a very big discount to your users and you issue this token that can be exchanged for your services and it can be traded at an open market and it's a very interesting thing so we, we've been talking about kickstarter on blockchain but you can also talk about groupon on blockchain where uh, companies like even brick and mortar businesses can issue like coupons on blockchain and these coupons can be traded on blockchain so it's it's a very nice thing it's an interesting development oh. i don't know yet if it's like feasible but i think that there is some interest people are interested because you you have some product and you can give a discount to 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 attract users and you can issue this voucher sell it to people and they can exchange they can swap this voucher for your product later at the same time you can you can finance your development your production with this money and uh, users can trade those tokens on blockchain for example if you if you give like 90 percent discount and later they can buy your product for the full price not for the full price but you, they can swap the token for your product there is some like spread between uh, the, the buy and sell price and they can for example sell it like uh, with profit like 100 percent profit so there is some window of, of opportunity here that can be used so i think that another direction of those tokens custom blockchain tokens is some kind of uh, coupons for like normal businesses yeah so yeah. it's a very interesting thing so we're gonna try to do that too and we have several companies who want to issue those tokens like medical equipment something like that some like some fa some some fashion companies it's interesting and let's see what happens if if it works out it can change a lot of things no, but yeah i could see that working uh, already if you have like an online coupon you know normally it's a string of numbers why not let it be a string of numbers related to to a blockchain and it should work yeah, just the absolutely. same yeah yeah it's like groupon groupon was very successful a while ago it's not so successful now but probably this approach this thing can turn things around in this industry so let's see what happens because <laughs> we are focused on tech and we are focused on business also because we want to 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 see if some new developments in business can work some new approaches in business when for example when we can issue those kind of tokens and use them as coupons or when you can issue some kind of as we call it cat cat custom application token something that can be used uh within your product so you have for example social network and you issue an internal currency on blockchain for it and you sell it to investors and at the same time you accept it as uh, a payment for advertisement in the network so is if the network grows yes you have more 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 eyes more eyeballs and this advertisement costs more and there's some connection between the price or the other advertisement and the the price of your token so if your network grows social network grows uh, the token price grows too so this creates some investment interest and people are interested in buying the token and making some profits eventually so there can be some new directions also in business when you can issue some kind of blockchain securities which are legal yeah they don't break any laws actually because they are not equity in your company they don't guarantee any profits they are just used within your system as a part of 
it's their functionality and there's some connection between the success of your system and the price of the token so if your system is successful the token the token price also also rises so i think that it's a very valid and interesting direction lots of companies are interested in this and are willing to to issue their their tokens to somehow integrate them in their business so let's see what's going to happen i think that it can be pretty important and even more important than smart contracts because smart contracts are like great thing but you know probably the time for them has not come yet but for this for these custom tokens i think there are so many valid use cases and the whole market hasn't been yet tapped into so is this what you mean just yeah yeah is this what you mean by cat you know that that yeah custom application token yeah so it's something that can be used as a part of your functionality or of, as, as a part of functionality of your product so you can use these blockchain tokens somehow in the product and if your product is successful it somehow reflects in the price of your token so there's some investment interest it's not like securities in like a normal sense of the word so it's not equity in our company it's just something that is traded on blockchain that is issued on blockchain and that can be used as a part of your product so if your product is successful the price rises and there is some investment interest and this is a whole new world actually because uh, this approach is absolutely new so it's what people call app coins there was a nice TechCrunch article like a month ago about app coins we call it something else but it's, it's essentially the same it's custom application tokens something that can be issued on blockchain something that can be used as a part of your product and there is some monetary interest if your product is growing now if, if user base is growing the price of your token grows too so i think that it's a very great thing and if it works out it can be a whole new world for like many businesses it can be multi multi billion dollar business i don't guarantee that but it could happen wow and it's all over the world it's not just the united states or the euro yeah, i mean yeah. mm-hmm. at the moment we have the united 12 people in the united states listening we have four people in Poland. We have two people in Finland. Cool. We have two people in Turkey. I have a whole map. This, you know, this new radio yeah. station tells me everything. So I- it's very important, not not only for US, because you know, in US you have some kind of Silicon Valley. Yeah, probably this is the only place where 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 you can more or less easily raise funds for your startup. The rest of the world is not like that. It's pretty hard to raise money in Europe, let alone Russia. Uh, you know, people have to you know to invent some new new ways to raise money. So I think that it can be a breakthrough for many many startups that couldn't have uh, raised any money, and they can now uh, go to their community, to their users, and ask them for money. And people understand that this product is valid that product has value and they are ready to support it and at the same time they can support it and make some money along the way because there is some like uh, investment interest here uh, you know because it's not only like you support it like 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 charity like like at kickstarter you just send 50 50 bucks to kickstarter kickstarter and you wait for your gadget to arrive uh, here you have some like investment interest you can actually make money so you support the product and you hope to make money so it changes things a lot because when there is some like interest uh, some like monetary value in the thing you know there is more interest and i think it can be a deal breaker deal breaker and game changer for many startups so this is a a whole new thing yep so you change everything so he's talking about tokenizing your business people, tokenizing your product, tokenizing your service, and uh, it's a whole new invention. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's it's better than smart contracts because probably smart contracts had to come a little later, yeah, but they were they came earlier. But people didn't realize all the possibilities that 
simple blockchain tokens can bring yeah because people are focused on smart contracts and they can't really be used in the real world but these kind of things can so right, right. probably it's time to focus on those tokens and then move on to smart contracts right. in a couple of years. Right. The smart contracts provide an if and then statement. So, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, take out your will or, or give money to your children in 10 years, then, uh, you know, it'll happen at that point in time. And, you know, it's, it's more for lawyer type stuff. Uh, you, you could actually build applications with it, too. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, like you said, it's there's a lot of problems with it right now on Ethereum. Uh, you know, there's forks every week. And uh, a lot yeah, of people yeah. have to always they keep changing their code because they keep forking. So it's more of a pain right now to try to use than anything else. Uh, so what what happened with the GDAX? Uh, any information on GDAX? Mm hmm. Uh, we, were, we were talking to them. I took I talked to one of their founders, and we're going to be working with them. We're going to be talking to them because all they have now is uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. They don't have anything else. So, and uh, as far as I understand, there is some like legal issues they they are facing now, and they are pretty, you know, they are they are not ready to to implement new coins. But further along the way, I think. We have, we 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 think I, the chance that they're gonna implement waves is pretty 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 good. So at the moment no, but later they they can. And we are talking to other exchanges, to other services, and uh, the, there's gonna be a couple of announcements soon. I think yeah, about you, in, interaction with other exchanges. Do you think that uh, the, the gateways once you implement them, it'll provide some liquidity to waves? Yeah, absolutely. Because there is no simple way to, you know, there is no like fiat on blockchain to, to, to like work in fiat, fiat on blockchain yet. Yeah, because there is some like bit shares thing, but it's not really working and it just doesn't exist. We want to have it done right with all proper licenses. There is, of course, Ripple, but Ripple is more for banks now. It's not an open system at this stage. And we want to have fiat tokens on open blockchain, and the interest is pretty, pretty, pretty high because you can implement it, for example, in a mobile application. So you can send like fiat transfers from one wallet to another wallet, from a, one mobile phone in US to a mobile phone in Nigeria or whatever. Yeah, it can be a pretty big thing. Yeah, so it has to reflect positively on the waves platform as a whole so including the price and everything so including the liquidity and the volume at exchanges everything so and we have several other approaches that can help us to increase the number of transactions in our network help our miners make more money and also support the price of the native tokens so it's all just starting guys because we've just launched the very basic functionality that was promised to you so it's just very initial stages so all fun is still ahead all right all right uh, do, do you see some type of big marketing push anytime soon or do you want to get uh, everything ready yes yet? yeah you know no, we, we will have it yes because now uh, once we have full notes and once we have light client with the asset creation asset transfer functionality it's time for a marketing push and as soon as we have the centralized network we're going to increase pushing we're going to increase the push we're going to make it even stronger because the system that we are going to have is going to be really unique yeah you'll have we'll have a system where you can issue tokens and you can trade them very fast you can also install your own matcher yeah you can also make money from matching the orders and no one had it and no one is planning to have this because people are focused on some other things like smart contracts and stuff like that arbitrage but, and we are focused on more like you know uh more on how to say 
people are working on permission blockchains and banks and they're working exactly on this they're working on uh, uh, assets on like uh, on some kind of correspondence of like real world assets to digital assets on digitizing the assets and we are working on exactly the same but on all open blockchains so we are more business oriented i think so if it, if it works out it's going to be pretty cool all right all right look guys we have a developer here he's not going anywhere uh he's a very open he answers everyone's questions uh, this is a technology if you're following it you should you should continue uh, to follow at, the, at this point in time, we have about 89 people listening in. Uh, we got seven in India, Poland, we got four, you got Netherlands, four people in Netherlands, Bahrain, three people. So I see, I see you guys. So uh, send me some questions when you get a chance. Uh, I have one for you. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so someone wants to know, uh, will there be 2FA implemented in the light client? Yeah, sure, because we have it done, like theoretically, there was a hackathon and our team has solved this problem of 2FA, so we have to find some time and implement it, hopefully, before the new year. So it's it's quite easy because we have the code and it can be implemented pretty fast, yes. And it's also uh, going to be something that no one else has. Uh, also, we have... Uh... Ripto says, "Why, why uh, the shift from master nodes to 10k per node to mine, and why that mm -hmm. decision was made? Why yeah, was that decision? If you allow to mine with a very small amount of uh, waves, it's pretty dangerous. So there are some attacks that we want to to nip in the butt, yeah, so to say. Uh, so." In order to do that, we had to 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 have this like limit for for the minimum amount of waves, but it's gonna be relaxed soon because we are considering some other approaches. We, uh, me personally, I promised El Pos. Now I'm thinking about uh, some different things that can help us make an even more scalable system. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to be announcing that later. I want to have uh, a very open network, so it, so everybody can mine. Everybody, even with a small amount, can participate. So it's more like more or less like NXT, but with a very high throughput and highly scalable. And now there are some approaches to achieve that. And uh, I'm going to be announcing something soon, I think, because we have to paper about this. So it's going to be some kind of uh, cross between our scientific paper about authenticated data structures uh, and some kind of scalability approaches that has been uh, proposed for Bitcoin. Yeah, I won't reveal the exact details now because we are still working on that. But we're going to combine several approaches and we hope to achieve a very high throughput and a very, a very scalable and stable system. All right. And uh, I just want to give a, a, a little promo in here real quick. Uh, Incent, which is the incentivizing uh, ICO that's going on right now, is offering 20% for Black Friday. Uh, if you guys Ooh. missed out on if you guys missed out on the bonus, get your Black Friday deal right now. Uh, Great offer. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a small window of opportunity. Black Friday, uh, everyone likes to get deals on Black Friday, so they are offering twenty percent more right now. If you get in, also uh, I like to give a shout out to uh, vdice.io. Uh, hopefully, when they implement their stuff, they will come over to Waves. I've spoken to them about it, and uh, they they offer poker, you know, and gambling on the blockchain, which is very important to uh, mm -hmm. keep. You know, it's very important to to get this out of the government's hands and give our ki children freedom again to do what they want. Uh, you know, it's not it's not fair that the government gets to gets to you know 
legalize gambling for themselves only. Uh, yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's important to have the, these freedoms uh, back in our hands again. Uh, you know, here in the United States, it's illegal. You know, if you if you do a poker game, they take you to jail. You know, it's ridiculous. Uh, so it's a, a little silly, but uh, maybe maybe one day we'll find a way to do it with tokens, right? Sure. Yeah, I think because I can see a lot of interest uh, in gambling and blockchains now because people want to have it like you know uh, have the structure where I can see that casino doesn't cheat you. Yes, so it has to be proved to be fair. I can see lots of projects on Ethereum now using smart contracts. Uh, I'm not sure that it's gonna work. Okay, but it can. It can work because Ethereum has problems and but the interest is very uh, is very good because people realize that uh, uh, to make gambling fair you have to use the centralized systems and only through this you can make gambling great again yeah <laughs> so otherwise <laughs> you know yeah it's been controlled by governments and it's like it's not it's not fair uh, or it's either scammers like some crazy casinos that just cheat you yeah because you can't check uh, what their edges because they can have like you know 90 percent of profits you know because there are some like binary options you know stuff like that where people just have like 90 percent of all the money sent to them they are able to to keep more yeah they have some approaches to make really 90 percent of all the deposits their own yeah and it's like cheating yeah or you have governments that control those casinos and you know profit from them so yep. the only way to make gambling fair is to have it decentralized and on blockchain and many projects are working on this and i think it's a great thing and i i support it wholeheartedly and it, so we have a question from the crowd is uh there any mm -hmm. update on the mycelium project uh, my ceiling project, I think it doesn't move very fast, so probably they can integrate us now, so please wait for some announcement. I think they have some internal problems at this stage, as far as I understand. So they don't update their system. So as, as soon as they have an update, okay, we have preliminary talks to them, I'm talking to their CEO, so they have our fiat tokens. But we don't, you know, depend on mycelium or any other project that much because we have lots of projects we are talking to. We're going to be implementing fiat tokens with some other companies soon with all licenses. So we, we are good, guys. We doesn't depend on any entity, on any exchange or, or, or on any, like, because we are uh, trying to create a new ecosystem uh, in which everybody can participate so it doesn't depend on some like centralized service or on some specific project so we are trying to create a new ecosystem that doesn't depend on one entity all right and uh, we have uh, another question it seems like they're, they're direct messaging you here um mm -hmm. What what is to be expected after the the light client release the new light client release? Yeah, let me give you some like you know some some some, some roadmap for the next probably several months. Yeah, so we are launching the light client with assets. Um, then we are launching probably at the same time leasing transactions and uh, dex, and we are working on scalability so we're implementing these things that we've been working on authenticated data structure thing that can make blockchain smaller and more compact and we're working on uh on a new post algorithm with increased throughput and more secure because post algorithm have some issues like you know some theoretical issues it's not secure uh it has never been broken actually yeah, for example nxt but some people say that it hasn't been broken because there was not an incentive big enough you know uh to do that because there was not much money there so people just 
didn't care. And theoretically, it can be in a way broken, yeah? And we want to have a secure post from theoretical point of view. And at the same time, it has to have, it has to be scalable and provide really high throughput. So we have some roadmap for this, and this is a very important thing uh, on which we'll be working after we have DEX and uh, leasing transactions. Also, uh, I think that it can be realized in, in spring next year or something like that, and we'll have a white paper sooner for peer review, so you can review, maybe you can, you can suggest us something or find some some errors in our approach. So we're gonna have it as soon as possible. I, I wanna have it till the new year. So uh, we'll have till the, uh, before the new year, we'll have uh, light client with all the functionality, leasing transactions. Uh, hopefully we'll have DEX, yes, or at least on testnet. We'll, we'll, we'll have it on testnet definitely. On mainnet, I can be so sure. Yes, and after that we'll have 2FA, so in January probably, uh, fiat gateways, so you have dollar, euro, and probably yuan right in the light client wallet. And uh, that's going to be a pretty nice system, guys. So a couple of other things, so some like plugins for dividends, so you can easily issue your crowdfunding uh, tokens, you can send dividends or you can distribute your tokens to your investors. So have two, a couple of things like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, within, I think after the new year, we we'll have a system that can be used like, you know, in production mode by your startup for fundraising for fiat transfers and mobile wallets, we're going to have also very soon, yeah, because we have it in the test mode now, so it's, it's ready, mobile wallet is ready, and we have just to test it and add also assets there. So as soon as we add tokens creation and transfer, we'll be releasing the mobile wallet application too. So this is what we're going to do, uh, we're going to be doing within next couple months. Wow, that's a lot of features to come out within the next yeah. few months. Yeah. I'm very impressed. Yeah. I have uh, I have Ripto. He wants to know if there's any fees for asset creation. Yeah, the fees are like they're they're pretty small now, but we'll be thinking about implementing two types of assets. I think it's, it's pretty pretty early to announce something uh, something definite yet, but probably we will be having two types of assets, like cheap assets and expensive assets. So like. Uh, it's gonna be like that. Probably we you won't get, we, the blockchain won't guarantee the security of cheap assets because uh, we have some kind of pruning pruning when you can just drop transactions from blockchain and uh, store only the state of the system. But you can't verify the state then. And we're gonna have like expensive assets where you explicitly always store all the transaction history, it's all secure, but it's it's going to be more expensive. This is our plan for the assets. So at this stage, it's pretty cheap because we don't want to, you know, somehow discourage people from issuing assets, but eventually further down the road, we're going to have more expensive assets that should be more secure. All right. Two classes of assets. That sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, uh, this is all about full nodes, guys. Uh, I want everybody to go home. When you get home, <laughs> implement a full node. All right. Even if you don't have the yeah. ten thousand, it'll still work, right? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And we're gonna be, uh, you know, reducing this limit. So just install it now. See how it works. It's a nice piece of software. So yeah, it's very easy to install actually. So the, the only okay. the only reason for the ten thousand is to stake, right? For to earn yeah, fees. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it, yeah, exactly. it, if you set it up now without ten thousand, it still helps. 
Sure, yeah, sure. It, it just support the network, so it it, it 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 relates to the transactions. It participates in in the network, so it's great, guys. So we'll be really grateful to you, and eventually it's gonna materialize in some monetary value too. Have have any new projects reach out to you? Ripto Ripto wants to know if any new projects. Uh, have reached very out many. To you? I'm I'm talking to very many, many very many projects because very many projects uh, want to crowd fund, want to do some crowd sales. So it's projects from all branches of business. It's from like brick and mortar business, like medical equipment, movie industry, really. I'm not like, I'm not like, no, I'm not bullshitting. Some movie company wants to crowdfund for, for a new film yeah, so, <laughs> and stuff like that. So there are so many different directions where you can use those cats, those custom tokens it's just you know it just blows my mind because it can be a whole new world of opportunity indeed because it hasn't been available before because there was no blockchain there was no internet and only after internet and blockchain uh, actually appeared yeah you are able to create those things they, those kind of tokens that can be used in so many different ways and people are just starting to realize this and when they fully grasp what they can do with them, it can change the whole picture, I think. So probably we are experiencing some kind of revolution now. All right. There you go, guys. That, that's called vision. If you guys haven't recognized yeah. it, that's, <laughs> that's, that's called a man with vision and a visionary. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Thank you. <laughs> You know, a lot of people, you know, I, I've had ICOs come up to me just recently with all this garbage and I've had developers look at it and they told me it was garbage and, you know, I've had to, de to deny them. You know, this is not garbage. He's already implemented it. So, you know, get involved, people. This could be like the early start of Ethereum. Uh, so get, let's get involved. Probably way better because I know Sasha and he gets the job done. Uh, I've seen him in Coinomat, right? He was the first inventor of Shapeshift before Shapeshift came out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, uh, he, you know, he, he gets the job done. At the end of the day, he gets the job done. And that's what we need. You know, there's a, a visionary that gets the job done. Uh, so get your, get your uh, full nodes installed. It's very important. Uh, we all want to support Waves, especially if you have some. Get a get a silly old laptop and install the full node. I did it last night. It was it was very easy. I had a couple problems. I told you about it earlier in the show, and I told you how to fix it while Sasha was away. Uh, so get involved uh, if you want to see it grow. Get involved. Uh, Sasha, is uh, there anything else you'd like to uh, to tell people? All right, just, just guys. Yeah. So just. Some general style, guys. We are working hard. So, uh, if you care about the price, I sh I don't recommend you to do that because it's all about the product. Don't take a look at those f small fluctuations, and eventually care about the long run. So, we are working on something that can change uh, the way business works. So, it takes some time. And if we do it, we all are going to be very successful, uh, you and us. So, guys, probably have some patience with us, bear with us, and we're going to succeed together. Ride on waves. On a, all right. Yeah, on, okay. on a, honestly, I when the price was like at over 50000 it was a little expensive. You know, and I was like, oh, I wish I put more when it was lower. You know, and <laughs> you know, now, now it's lower. I mean, I, I just, yes, so you know, you have an opportunity. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so we, you know, don't look at it as it's as a sad thing. This is an opportunity for people who did not get in to get in now. That's the opportunity yeah, right now. Absolutely. All right, guys. So don't, don't you know, don't get upset, don't get panicky because this has vision. This developer, he's not going anywhere. He's here to stay. He's not disappearing I'm overnight. There, guys. Yeah, I'm always there, so I'm always open and. I'm always focused on the bigger picture. So stay tuned and ride on the waves. Thank you, guys. All right, See Sasha. Hey, hang around tight, Sasha. I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. Everybody, we have Rob Wilson coming up at 
in 45 minutes. Yeah, so we ran a little late, but uh, 45 minutes, and we will have Rob Wilson on with Incent, uh, telling us the latest in his uh, negotiations with new companies. And uh, don't go away. Are you stuck in a world that threatens you? Do you enjoy gambling, but are afraid to because you feel you will get in trouble? Does the fact that the government gets to control who gets to gamble and where burn a fire in your soul? Well then, what can be done to stop the overreach of governments that enjoy telling you what you cannot do, then turn around and do it themselves? One word, fellas. Decentralise. The decentralised blockchain is the only technology that can do this. Same technology that the programmable currency that is called Bitcoin runs on. You see, they can't stop Bitcoin. No matter how many regulations they speak of, you can just laugh at them. Well, prepare for waves of decentralized applications to start ruling out markets, giving us the freedoms our ancestors once had. VDice.io is the latest in decentralized gambling that will bring us games like poker and craps. Visit vdice.io and become a supporter of freeing us of the shackles that bind us down in our tyrannical society. If not for you, do it for the freedom of future generations, giving them the freedom to be entrepreneurs in niches only governments profit from. Do it and know that you are supporting a blockchain technology that cannot be shut down unless they shut down the whole internet. Visit vdice.io today.